I think they are aware of it. I just think they don't think that the cops can actually find them or people can find them, but they do it anyway. According to this Delaware Valley High School student, the act of sexting has been happening in the district for quite some time. It's a problem that police could do little about. That is, until just a few months ago, when state legislators passed a new law making it a criminal offense. A male uh, took a picture of himself and sent it to a female. Uh, we charged the, the male with the summary offense. However, the, the female showed it to several other classmates. Uh, she fell under the misdemeanor for disseminating that photo. Two weeks ago, two middle school students were involved in the exchange and distribution of a nude picture. The incident has led to Pike County's first sexting charge, and now the school is doing what they can to prevent future cases. I mean, life's about choices, and there's consequences for our choices. And we're giving them information, so hopefully they make good choices. Campus Police Chief Mark Molia has been teaching students about the consequences of sexting for the past four years now. Really what they have to wor worry about more than being arrested for a summary is the embarrassment of everybody having that picture. Now, police say that many minors feel that taking a picture on their cell phone is harmless, but in many cases, those photos will end up on the Internet forever. What happens is I tell the, uh, all the students, once you send it, you lose total control of where it goes. Molia says Delaware Valley has a strict no cell phone policy, but with over 4,000 students in the district, it's difficult to enforce. So this is where parents have to step in. It always has to be the parents. Parents have to take you know responsibility for what their children do. Manny Dominich says he's glad the school district is making an effort to educate the students on sexting and suggests that parents monitor their children like he does. Try to make the internet to where it's not accessible for, it's in the kitchen, so it's monitored. In Pike County, John Bartell, News 13.